greetings uh, Motor Retro Man here I'm in a bit of a shock why uh, well with the iPad I said I was quite impressed with the iPad you know something that Apple have made that I've been impressed with and I'm actually even more impressed which I never thought I would ever say in a million years here's why Now, you may or may not, no, I'm not going to waffle on too much, but for years I've always been an Android phone, you know, Samsung, like Samsung phones, they do what I want it to. Apple, when they first, well, many years ago, when Samsung first bought out the original Samsung Galaxy phone, um, it was half the price of an iPhone and was better. You know, the crap, the, the camera tech was better, um, it had better stuff, you know, like colours and everything. Um, and the issue is... Um, that what's happened since is that you know Apple chargers were up there, so the cost, you know, the cost, the value of the cost was up there, and Samsung was there, so the you know half the price. But gradually, bit by bit, the Samsung have crept up, and you know they're now pretty much on a par, pretty much the same price. And some, I think, I believe some Samsung phones are even more expensive than iPhones now, so they've overtook them, which I think is ridiculous. So that's where I come from. That I've not been a very big fan of Apple iPhones or you know things like that. Anything. I mean, I can understand why people like them because if they don't, you know, for, for stuff that I do, if they don't need it and they have everything else that's Apple, then fair enough, you know. I just think that a lot of the iPhone accessories, like your chargers, that type of stuff, you know, the AirPods, Air, whatever, they're quite expensive, you know. And you can t nine times out of ten only use Apple products. You can't. Sometimes you can't use. Other ones like you can on Android. Anyhow, what I'm getting to is this. It is an 8-bit do. I don't know if you can see it from there. If it'll focus. It's an 8-bit do Pro 2 um, Bluetooth controller. Okay. Now, I had a bit of a brainwave. Now, a while ago, I had a game, uh, Carmageddon. It was free. Uh, on iOS and Android, so I've got it on Android, and on iOS I hadn't actually got an iPhone, so I used my daughter's phone at the time just to see if it worked. So it became on her account, and because she was part of the family, I decided that some that I was going to buy an i an iPad, um, so that I could use it outside, you know, like in the back garden when it's sunny, or whatever, you know, and just watch YouTube, something like that outside, you know, they weren't expensive, no point in spending like thousands and thousands of pounds. Like like MacBooks and stuff, uh, I got it fairly cheap. And the other day, I thought, how can I pair, or sorry, could I pair this with the iPad? The answer is yes. And with Windows, you try to you obviously it's a little bit more complicated because you normally have to have a pass key and stuff like that. So it's security conscious. You use a pass key, and sometimes it doesn't always work on Windows. You know, you, sometimes you power it on. And depending on what Windows is doing, it doesn't always sync properly. Now, I've not tried this with the iPad, but when I looked at the instructions on how to pair it, it says you turn the switch at the back to the letter D. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but at the moment it's like it's on the, I put it back to the computer one, but the next one along is D. You then press the, that one to turn it on, and the way it does it, then it sort of flashes as though it's pairing. So I then went onto the iPad. Shows the option on Bluetooth, and immediately it showed the 8 bit do controller. So I pressed the 8 bit do controller, and straight away it went, it's paired. I thought, well, that's a bit a lot easier. And then I went back to the game that I'd already on Com again because I wanted to test it on that, that I'd already started. Okay, so there was no controller connected before I even started the game, and the controller immediately started working. I was absolutely gobsmacked. I thought, why can't Windows be like that? You know, it, it just... And like I say, that is not an Apple product. It's made by 8 do. And the good thing about this one is you can use it with Windows, um, Android, Apple. So you've got the your iPhones and stuff like that. Um, and I believe you, this one as well, you can use it on the... the Wii. Wii. And like I say, what I would just say is that this is a fantastic little piece of kit. If you want to 
play games on an iPad. Um, it's got to be a certain version, by the way. Um, you know, the, I believe it's got. If you've got, it's it's something to do with the, the operating systems on, on Apple. I'm not 100 percent sure. There's there's two different ones, I believe. Is I think something like MacOS. There's Mac OS, Mac operating system, and there's also the I, iPhone software. Um, so basically, um, if you check on the on the website, or I'll I'll put the link on there if I or the the actual information if I remember when to do it. Um, it tells you what you, what it needs to be a minimum specification of, but I think the new the new ones. I mean, mine's an iPad Air three. Um, the other ones, I believe, will probably should be compatible anyway. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm I was so impressed with it, and it played so nice. It was smooth. There were no issues with it whatsoever. You know, the only slight issue I found was that I would pressing buttons on the screen that were doing stuff on the screen which I weren't 100% sure about because I started tapping stuff on the screen I'm like what's and it's just some sort of like video recording then it said it couldn't record because of something I'm like what are you doing and I really haven't got a clue because I was just fiddling about basically um, but yeah what I would say is that if you're ever considering or you're wanting to buy a gaming controller for your iPad check this out first because it worked flawlessly it did have a, um, a notification that was shown on the actual screen saying that there may be an issue um, with the Wi-Fi connection or Bluetooth, you know, being a bit slow or something like that while it's connected. I found absolutely no issue whatsoever. It played the game perfectly, um, and I was, I was just like I said, gobsmacked. You know, so that's the second thing that I've actually been impressed with with Apple. Um, I'll probably, I'm a bit bunged up at the moment because of this hair fever, which is like the pain at the bottom at the moment you know it's uh, really strong the pollen's really strong and a lot of people are suffering with it but I digress and like I said the other thing as well which I'll show you in there I'll take the back off it actually comes with an 8-bit dual battery and the battery is lasting it lasts hours and hours and hours Um I connect it to me um, my laptop to charge up because it's got one of these USB-C type charging ports Um but it can you it can use anything to charge it up, and once it's charged up, it lasts for ages. Absolutely brilliant. So that compared with Mac things, you don't well, you don't really need a computer really, do you? If you if that's what you want to do, play games. But then again, I suppose it depends on what games you want. Like Layers of Fear that's coming out, you can't play that on that MacBook because so I don't think I don't think they're releasing it for Mac. Anyhow, I'm uh, waffling on again, going off at a tangent like I do. Um, so yeah, so I'll wrap it up, and I would say that uh, you know I was really impressed with how fast and quick it actually connected. Um, yeah, so if you've had any any issues or experiences with your iPhone, iPad, or anything else, let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that ding dong bell for notifications, and because what else is there? Subscribe, bell notifications. Oh, and give this this video a like if you liked it, and a thumbs or a dislike if you didn't. And I like any kind of feedback of why you liked it, why you didn't like it, what you think might be better, what's what was worse, that type of thing. I mean, yeah, I need, I need a shave as well because uh, get a bit bristly now, so I know that as well. But okay. And if you'd like me to set any other games with my iPad and my 8-bit dual controller, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll have a look at them for you. Okay, take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye and thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.